I'm Andy Lapsa, co-founder and CEO of Stokespace. We do 100% fully reusable rockets that are designed to go to space, through space, back from space, and turn around very quickly. The idea of reusable rocketry is not new, but in practice it is new, um, less than a decade old. And so while it has completely revolutionized the way the space industry works, it's created commercial markets in space, it is still a far cry from the inevitable end state. And that end state is rockets that are 100% reusable and fly you know, effectively daily, just like we use other modes of transportation. So that's the direction that we have to go. And when you do that, when you marry 100% reuse with high flight frequency, now you have the opportunity to reduce costs, the cost structure of launch by another factor of 20. Um, and so that's, that's what we're all after. So if we want to think about proliferating space and turning it into this big commercial economy, a, a free market that's competitive and has the healthy market dynamics, the first thing we need to do is break open this bottleneck of access. And the way we're going to do that is lower prices, improve option value, and that's the only way to do that is through fully reusable rockets. So that's the way I see the market. Now the question is, um, you know, who are the customers out there? And, and I think that you'll see a number of different solutions uh, for different market sectors. Right now, small-ish, medium-sized satellites that are, um, you know, kind of distributed assets in space, evenly spaced all around the world uh, in large constellations. Those are the ones that um, have the most traction and also the most pain points right now. So that is where we're focused, trying to deliver an optimal solution for that market. Um, that's probably a different solution than, for example, human space travel or large space stations on orbit. The way we think about it is for this to really pay off and get in this you know, virtuous cycle that we know we can get to, we need um, reusable vehicles that turn around very quickly. And what that means is you can't spend time in between every flight doing refurbishment, doing detailed inspections. You have to trust that the vehicle is good to go with 100% certainty. This is the same thing in every other mode of shipping logistics. This is what we do, right? We don't inspect a truck between missions. We don't do the same thing with aircraft. So it is a new system. It needed, uh, you know, technology development. There were questions, you know, can we get this thing to work the way we think? And those questions through, uh, you know, from closing our seat at the end of 2020 to today, those, system, those, those questions have really been answered with a resounding yes. Uh, we built the, the vehicle behind us um, that is a design from scratch hydrogen oxygen rocket engine that's integrated with this thermal protection system. We've demonstrated it uh, kind of ad nauseum on the test stand now and then recently flew a small but very meaningful um, hop test where we took off, went up about 30 feet, came over and then and landed again. Uh, it really proved the system works and operates really from end to end. The next meaningful thing that we can do is go to orbit and come back. 